And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Renekton. We're going to be playing a Twisted Fate Renekton deck. This one's courtesy of FEMA. Uh, this deck uh, looks really cool. It's it's going to be it's going to maybe feel a little bit like your Twisted Fate Fizz deck, but we're going to be playing Sharima instead of PNZ, and we're not going to be playing nearly as many elusives. We'll still have Burblefish, but that's basically going to be the only elusive in here. But we're going to have Renekton as our other champion. Um, so no, no Sprayfin, basically, because we already have the two four mana champions. Just going to really fit Sprayfin as well. But Renekton will be able to be big. It will challenge. We'll have Rockhopper and Hired Gun to be able to give Vulnerable, of course, with Exhaust as well. Then we'll have plenty of card draw for our Twisted Fate with Pool Shark, uh, Fortune Croaker, Pick a Card, Preservarium. So lots and lots of card draw in here. And then good protection for like Twisted Fate or Renekton. We're going to have Ride of Negation. Also, we're going to have Ancient Hourglass, a very good protection spell for our champions. It looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. Quicksand is awesome. Like this is just a really good combat spell. Also, you know, really good quality spell. So um, excited about that one. So yeah, it looks, it looks good. We're going to go play our five games in ranked and see how it does. The one thing whenever I was looking at the list, so the card I really want to put in here is Xenotype Researchers right here. 3 mana, 3-3, three, three, when I'm summoned to grant 3 random allies in your deck, plus 3, plus 3. Basically because this deck has a whole lot of card draw. And so if we are drawing a lot of cards, then we're likely going to be getting that plus 3, plus 3 on the different random allies. And so that could be pretty awesome. You know, you're talking about like 7-7 seven, seven Renektons. Like, that's amazing. 5-5 five, five, Twisted Fate. Yes, please. 6-4 Burblefish. That's 0 mana. That's crazy, right? So, like, the Xenotype Researcher seems like it would fit perfectly in here. There's also not even a unit at three mana. But the thing is, is, like, where to fit it in. That's where I couldn't I couldn't really figure out exactly how to fit in Xenotype Researchers. Maybe it's just, like, take out one Croaker, one Pool Shark, you know, like, that kind of stuff. Um, I don't know. I couldn't really figure out how to put fit it in. Maybe a Preservarium. So, anyway, let's start playing some games. With the deck, we'll see. But that's something. Let's let's think about that while we play the games. Would can we fit Xenotype Researchers in here? Because I think it could be awesome. All right, but here we go. Let's uh, play our five games in ranked. A card you really want to protect? Oh, Vladimir Brom. The deck I never beat, except for one time I beat him. <laughs> I lose to it every other time. All right, so we're gonna Mulligan Ride Negation. Definitely don't need that. Um, exhaust is good, but probably don't need to keep it in our opener. I mean, I want to keep it, but I need to find our champions and stuff. Yeah. Let me show you. Yeah, the prediction's up. Give that 2-3 Vulnerable. Okay. We'll give the 3-3 Vulnerable instead. Let us get going. You cannot hide forever, Nasus. My shield is my we should be friends. <laughs> All right. So if I if I ancient hourglass this, they don't get the th the three three, and then we'll it will also come back and it will give the two three vulnerable. I don't know. Deciding not to do it. Their board's kind of full. No, not the scar grounds. Not the scar grounds. If it's made of sand, I can write. The young fight for you got caught. I think about just going like Twist Fate blue card. I'm always up for a round or two. I 
gold card would stun this thing, but meh. Yeah, red card. Red card would be kind of bad. Kind of bad. So they're they're obviously gonna have like their deal one to everything kind of cards. I will run you over. Now my first gun Give stuff tough. Your I don't know. I'm considering just not even blocking this, honestly. Just not even let, letting them play those kind of cards. So we go to eight. Move. I don't know. I don't, I don't like this block. See, there's the deal one to everything. Then these things get tough. So, okay, so this takes one damage here, and then that goes to one. So if I do this... Oh, that still does kill Twisted Fate? How does that still kill Twisted Fate? Oh, it gets the plus one from the, from the, ve the veteran. The veteran makes it two. Well... All right. I forgot. It. Yeah, I, I didn't think about the veteran. No, if, well, if we didn't block, they wouldn't have had... They wouldn't. They would not have been able to respond, right? Because like they wouldn't have had priority again. So that was the, that was the whole reason to not block was to not give them priority, so they couldn't play that card. I can't really have the Rennington survive. We play in build rules, son. Yeah, we could challenge Brom. I get violent when I'm bored. No mercy, no retreat. Currently eight overwhelm. Yeah, maybe that's maybe that's the route I should have gone here. Was I mean I'm just worried about like those overwhelm things. But I, I definitely could have done that of um you know, block with Rennington on something that wasn't overwhelm and then hourglass the Rennington and then recast another one and then I have two Renningtons. That was an option. So it's plus three plus three, so it's eight. Exhaust is good. No mercy. Face your 
Let's see. So they're at 16. Burble fishes could put them down to 10. And then if I if I challenge, you know, like the two health thing with Rennington, yeah, we're I'm still not killing them. And then it's just so likely they have like Death Lotus or something like that too. All right, we're just gonna try this. Thank you, really powerful wizard, for that donation deck there. They're playing Flash Freeze? Rose. These one mana spells from Sharima are awesome with Burble Fish. Getting exhausts and shape stones. Like that that is pretty awesome. Vladimir ends it on the spot. Man, I can never beat that deck. <laughs> Except for... Okay. We got some Frostbite. Frostbite should definitely be good against Renekton. We'll get rid of the Fortune Croaker. But I like... I like these different combat tricks in this matchup because this is going to be a matchup where combat's going to be very important. Yep, predictions up. So that thing having vulnerable is nice for the pool shark. All right, lots of spells. A game. Go on, then. It's a good time to play because like four mana is like where the top of our curve is besides purple fish. So if we hit like one of our champions, we can still play it next turn. Sharpen the blades, cure the kill. And they are passing. Give us some room. So they waste three mana, I waste two if I just pass. Alright, so good hourglass. Pool Shark is a summon ability, so we'll be able to get another fleeting card. See like we're trading um, Hourglass for the Brittle Steel. Okay, it kind of seems like they have Cooling Strike. How they're sitting there thinking. <laughs> it sure looks like a lot. For, the question was how many spells in our list. Uh, but the answer is 17. Um, yeah, 17 spells. So this, this means Elixir of Iron doesn't save Ash. They can still have, if they have another Brittle Steel or a Troll Chant, they're fine, but Elixir of Iron doesn't. Okay, but now even the Troll Chant, it's down to two health, which is good for my higher gun. Where do you stand on cold shot? And Exhaust. Let's wait. Let's see what they do. Use Harsh Winds on these two, <laughs> on these things. Uh, it does Harsh Winds does level up Ash? That's annoying. I'm always up for a round or two. 
So yeah, we're gonna have to burn one of these to either you know, either the Preservarium or the Croker. Um, the Preservarium could be a, you know another card to draw for the Twisted Fate. And so I think I'm gonna go with the Preservarium. Yeah. Especially now, we don't want Twisted Fate at one health whenever we're holding these quicksands. Saving the Hourglass for Cooling Strike protection. And yeah, we did get the Cooling Strike out of their hand before that other Twisted Fate last time. So it's hard to play Preservarium right now because of Cooling Strike. Next turn five. This was six. That was seven. Okay. Very useful against. Um, something like a reckoning. So my best possible play would be Twisted Fate, Quick Attack, Kill the Glory Seeker, but that's pretty. Pretty risky, right? Because then just a frostbite card, and then I have to use the quick, you know, like that's kind of risky. So the pool shark is like the easy, like don't have to worry about it. But then I don't have like the pool shark to block, and like a pool shark to block these things actually does sound pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and go with this. They've already played tons of cheap spells. I, maybe they don't have another one. Well, they did. All right, that's unfortunate. But again, got Troll Chan out of their hand. Alright, so we're at seven. Today we you're mine. Wait a minute. It's a lot of things. The trap is set. Who's on top of the bounty board today? You are in the right to Trifarian. The assessor. The stories were true. Hey bipolar, doing good? Hope you're doing well. <laughs> I guess you can win them all. Stands beneath me and wins behind me. So we still have like reckoning is going to be the card that would be the the most difficult to beat, and so that that's why I got this right negation for the reckoning. So that's good. We don't have to worry about Sejuani, thankfully. Sejuani would be awesome. I still can have Ash though. But right now, they have a full board, so if they want to play Ash or anything like that, they gotta cover stuff up. Um They're going to entomb the Twisted Fate. So in two turns, we can have two Twisted Fates. Maybe I should've just done this first. Nah. 
they probably just open attack. I know I'm not challenging the Triparian Glory Seeker. My plan is to be able to play another spell and red card that Glory Seeker. Yeah, I don't I don't have room. We need more room. I guess it's one of these things. All right, so they're out of troll chance. So I guess, I guess, you know, obviously not challenging that glory seeker was a mistake. Obviously, especially how I just like replaced stuff. Like, so that was obviously a big mistake by me. Come on, cast reckoning. Do it, cast reckoning. So yeah, I, I should have done more challenging. I didn't want to like clear clear up the space for their for more things, but they didn't have that much mana. Yeah, I messed that up. But the good news is we're going to have another Twist of Fate here next turn. I'm saving this burble fish for you know more blue card, red card, that kind of stuff. Wait, why did it start with red card? Because the other one had blue card already? Crazy. So I'm making this thing vulnerable so that we can challenge with the Renekton and have the Renekton stay alive. These one mana spells from Shurima are pretty sweet. Burblefish Shurima is pretty good. I mean, Burblefish is just great, but all these spells that we're getting from Shurima are pretty sweet. Yeah, I was really glad they played the 6-6 six -six and not Reckoning. They could. It's still possible they have Reckoning, I guess, but less likely. I'm going to save the stone weaving for next turn for the, you know, blue card, red card, that kind of stuff. Okay. Twist of Fate got us there. Prismatic shards. If there's something you want with the prismatic shards, you don't have to save them. So, like, is it worth saving prismatic shards? Eh, I don't know. Yes and no. Depends. If there's nothing that you really, really want, you don't, you know, you don't need to spend them. But if there is something you want, go ahead. Just spend them. Always get more resources in this game. They're going to be, you know, like this should be an aggressive deck. With Nessa at the top end. Just decide just to mulligan all the spells. Yeah, see, like they're aggressive. Wish, wish we could twist a fate red card next turn. Okay, I was gonna say if they had something like glimpse beyond. They could glimpse beyond their other bark beast to turn this one into a three three. But that that probably just doesn't make the most sense to do.
No real reason to pull Shark right there whenever I'm going to want to play Twisted Fate the next turn anyway. And then Caretaker. Everyone's a garden. Yep. Always forward. Son of a Okay, so how close are we for this Twisted Fate? So we're at two right now. Oh, just one? <clears throat> right, I didn't blue card. I went with a gold card. Lady Luck is smiling. Just a man with the Twitch Prime sub. Brand new Twitch Prime sub. Y'all get some hype votes in the chat. For our new sub, welcome to the channel. Thanks for that support. Shuffle. Oh, that's right. The pool shark made a fleeting also. Six already. Ooh, fresh soil. All right, was face leveled up. We are going to be burning a bunch of these fleeting cards. That's how it is. Unfortunately, I don't have the mana to play two things. I really need the mana to play two things to red card. Where you going? Soap it in. That would have been really nice to red card right here for obvious reasons. Okay, so we got an extra copy of Twisted Fate back into the deck instead of it just getting. Um, yeah, instead of it just going away with it being fleeting. So I'm chilling with all these exhausts and everything. Probably not playing this Fortune Croaker. Everything having one health. Probably pl not playing that card. The Emperor commands the land obeyed. What a shame for you! Could definitely pass. I know I, I won't get red card or gold card, but it's not like that really matters. Yeah, I think I'd just pass. This is them wasting a whole lot more mana. These two cards aren't really that important. <laughs> Should have gone for Fortune Croaker on the Twisted Fate. Betrayal bears, Shurima. Hope revived it. I mourn the loss of Shurima's greatest hero. He was betrayed by his brother. By his brother. Says I don't share. This too shall end. Oh, I don't get to block it. Let's do a gold card. Yeah, that was bad. That was bad. I just wasted that quicksand. 
I was thinking I was gonna block in like the two damage of the four. That was that was bad though. That was a waste. Oh, I don't get to attack. Man, I'm not very good at this whole Twisted Fate thing. <laughs> I'm keeping this, keeping this down from Atrocity, though. Um. Eh. 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 It's probably fine. Yeah, that's fine. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna play New Twist of Fate. I definitely wanna save this for Atrocity, right? Like, I'm, I'm worried about, like, other, like, New Nasus, Atrocity, that kind of stuff. I guess I could've shaked down, and then there's what it wouldn't get the plus two, plus two. And then I would've had a red card also. Yeah, so I, I should use the shakedown before. Now, where was I? Because if they have another Nasus and another Atrocity, that's how I lose. Okay, they do not. So I was going to be digging there, drawing a lot of cards this turn, looking for my, my second uh, deny for that Atrocity. No, no, the deck we can never beat. Or maybe they don't draw Scar Grounds. Ooh, what if they play a game where they just don't have Scar Grounds? What if that happens? I don't think that's ever happened. We played Vladimir Braum. We, we only had Scar Grounds, I think, in two of the five games that we played. Either two or three. But maybe it's my maybe it's possible my opponent does not cast scar grounds. Nope. Well, we tried. First, you go away. Uh, actually, the Ancient Hourglasses are probably going to be important. Man, these are all kind of important. I guess we're not going to be doing Reddington stuff too much. Never lost a fair game. Never played one. Soak it in. So we want to do that uh, that card first, you know, so we can get that one spell mana back. Don't stand in my way. I found my family, my blood. Yeah, I know, like, like so leveling up Twisted Fate with like red cards and stuff really isn't even that great against against Scar Grounds. If I hourglass this, no, it's just gotta be right. Trust your instincts. Son of a the bloodier the better. No blocks. If I kill you, I don't fuck you, stupid. <laughs> I guess you can win them all. All 
All right, how good is leveled up Twisted Fate? Can it beat the best deck in the world? The deck I can never beat. Two Scar Grounds. Two of them, you say. Would you look at this place? Soak it in. Speaking of two, I can have two leveled up Twisted Fates. Maybe I go for that next turn. I don't really want to play another card in red card this Curator. Because I can't go for two leveled up Twisted Fates. <clears throat> hmm. I'm play, kind of playing that card because it's the... Uh, it's, the you know, it's the spell, it gets rid of that spell mana. It's like I, I didn't actually use any mana on that. Okay, how can Braum help? Quicksand can get rid of Tough. Okay, well. I'm a people person. Be grateful I even noticed. Yeah, this isn't great. They're never gonna never ever gonna run out of units. the table a guy go on then watch the ball folks yeah this this game is pretty silly i'm basically like my my plan right now is like 15 red cards not going to lie that's kind of that's kind of the plan And then yeah, maybe maybe a Rennington overwhelm somewhere. The rest will burn. Hmm. Burning is that seems a little excessive. Gotta burn the rest. A guy. Go on then. Watch the ball, folks. Wait. Eyes open. Oh, because this one this one was already used. Last so whenever it comes back, it's already used the, for the three times. Hmm. Where you going? That hurts. I definitely wanted multiple gold cards. Uh, that just red cards it. Sure you can't. Only fools play the hand they're dealt. At least they're going to be out of room. Blue as the serpentine. Fish. 
Okay, okay. Now we talking. <laughs> That's so weird. Gold guard, blue guard. It's so weird. I don't have room to create things anymore. Oh, I need that quicksand! Oh, I need that quicksand. Quicksand is so important. That's one of my most important cards. No. Uh, I needed that quicksand. I'm a people person. <laughs> Just another winter. As I live, all will die. No, I'm thinking, man. I am their end. No surrender. Yep. That's why we need shape stone for this. All right, let's put them down to four. Okay. I'm gonna need the spell mana next turn. Mm, I'll just draw a card. I don't change fate, I can see it. Ten cards left. I think this twist of fate is not gonna gold card for me. Come, Clara, we have much to teach you. Again. Go on then. Yeah, it's not gonna gold card for me. So I let I only have the one twist of fate gold carding this turn. Think it's luck. Try to understand. I matter, you don't. I don't carry change. It's just blood, darling. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm muted. Thank you. I'm sorry. I muted. I muted the mic whenever the dogs 
were barking and I forgot to unmute it. I'm so sorry. Um, so yeah, I don't know how long I was muted. I'm sorry about that. Uh, so the, yes, yeah, so that frozen tomb was unfortunate, which they, they would have just gone with the flash freeze. That would have helped me out a little bit more. Where am I at? One card left? Wait, that's not very many. One is not very many. Who says I don't share? I cannot be broken. Just another winter. We can still do this, though. This card's fleeting. I'm just going to cast it. All that glitters. Yeah, so, okay. So, basically, I need to kill them with red card. All right, so I'll kind of talk about our plan here. So, we need to kill them with red card. However, blue card happens before red card. And so, blue card's going to kill us before red card. So, that's a problem. So we need to replace Twisted Fate. We also have to replace this Preservarium, because that Preservarium draws us a card. So we have to replace both of these. And now we draw our one last card for turn. And then we need to pick a card and put a card back so that we don't die to the one blue card. And then play another spell for the red card. Oh, I guess, I guess if they go from left to right, I guess the red would happen before blue, wouldn't it? But it doesn't really matter. So that puts that back for the blue. Shape stone for red. And just in case, we can do this for gold. Let's get Star Spring. All right, so does does this work? They have to have like a lot of ways to, you know, they have to either be able to damage my Nexus, they have to be able to hit this Crimson Disciple, they have to heal, anything like that. We get entombed. Another fine scar. All right, red card happens first. So I guess I didn't even have to put the card back, but. And there there we go. Game, game's over. Easy peasy. So you told y'all, we just need 15 red cards. And we finally defeated Scargrounds. That was crazy. All right, so there we go. That was Twisted Rennington. As you all know, we basically we always play five games per deck, but we're just doing four with this one because of how long some of those games were. I just didn't want to have too long of a YouTube video, um, so we're, we're going to be just stopping at four. Plus, that last game was amazing. It really doesn't get better than winning that last game. So we're going to take the three and one, a good, very good win rate, and... Uh, you know, kind of quit while we're ahead here. But uh, this is this is a really good deck to play. This is a fun one if y'all enjoy Twisted Fate decks, but you want to play something different with Twisted Fate. This was really cool. I liked I liked a few things I really liked about this. Twisted Fate with Hourglass was awesome. And that was particularly really good of being able to get like that last game, being able to get multiple Twisted Fates in play. Um, and then you you know you can get the multiple blue cards, red cards, gold cards every turn. That's just so hard to uh, slow down whenever you can get two of those in play. And so that's that's really awesome, honestly. So it's Hourglass is not only a really good protection spell for the Twisted Fate against culling strikes or even against challengers, right? Like even against like a Boxtopus, Hourglass can save it. But then also you get to use the Hourglass proactively like that when you have a second Twisted Fate in hand. Because you all know whenever you have that second Twisted Fate in hand, you always have to just play pick a card. Because, you know, like that's, that's just your thing. You got to play pick a card. Well, instead, we were able to Hourglass 
and then get a just play a second twisted fate and now we get those blue card red card gold cards <laughs> twice a turn pretty crazy all right so that was awesome i was also really impressed with burblefish with shirima the one the one cost spells that we were creating were really impactful with burblefish because we were making um stuff like exhaust where's exhaust there's exhaust so we we had like exhaust which was really good and then shapestone also really good it's like both of those were awesome spells to make even like stone weaving's good like you know it's an epic like it's good and so shirima has really good quality one cost spells for burble fish that that looked really good um but yeah there we go so that was that was a, a good deck right there we lost to the scar grounds deck and then we came back and defeated it afterwards so playing through those games that was the, you know, the thing that I really wanted to think about while playing through those again was can we fit Xenotype Researchers into this this deck? Because we draw so many cards, you know, want to have 6-4 Burble Fish and 5-5 five, five Twisted Fate and 7-7 seven, seven Renekton. You know, I just feel like Xenotype Researchers would fit really well. But it but with playing the games, it didn't seem like we could kind of fit it in anywhere. I would have to say the card that I liked... so Because, like, Pool Shark was really good. I think Pool Shark was important. Even Fortune Croaker was really good at leveling up Twisted Fate. They were both very important. The card that I think that was the worst out of all the cards that we played, honestly, was probably the Rock Hopper. The the vulnerable, like we we had enough vulnerable, it seemed like from Hired Gun and Exhaust, but Rock Hopper is a uh, is a landmark which is important for Shapestone. But that was the card that I probably liked the least in the deck. So like maybe that's where you could fit in some Xenotype researchers would be over Rock Hopper. Um, didn't seem like we needed more vulnerable for Reddington. It'd be like, do you still have enough? You know, if you just play Preservarium and Ancient Hourglass, is that enough landmarks? I'm not sure. So, you know, like that's still a maybe. That's still something to think about. Um, but yeah, Xenotype Researchers could be pretty awesome with some of these cards. All right, but anyway, that's Twisted Rennington. Um, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. If you try it out yourself, let me know how it goes and everything like that. Hopefully y'all enjoy it. All right, but that's it here for Twisted Rennington. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.